Sean Green here with Voice TV. I'm here with Jason Perry, Jorge, and Whitney, uh, Queen City Unity. Uh, today we had their first annual festival here at Noda Brewery um, in trying to inspire change. And actually, Jorge is the founder of this organization. We're going to ask him a couple questions. Uh, Jorge, today, tell us tell us about this event and how it got started. And not just this event, but Queen City to Unity. How did that even start? So, a year ago, on October 2nd, 2016, you know, Whitney was in my living room along with six other people and we said we, we got to make a difference we got to do something you know the civil unrest had just happened in Charlotte and we didn't know what we were gonna do but we knew we had to do something and that's how we came up with our mission statement which is to bring people together of all races religions gender sexual orientation and social economic status here in Charlotte so we did some reverse engineering and said all right we have a, a, an all-encompassing mission statement but how do we do it so we came up with our four pillars of unity, which are our four core initiatives. So number one is working with other nonprofits here in Charlotte, which we've worked with Second Harvest and a few others like Crisis Assistance Ministries. And then the other one is to host community events because it sounds real simple, but the easiest way to bring people together is to literally bring people together, right? And the other two are, we have a team of attorney volunteers that'll legally represent anybody that's been discriminated against. And lastly, the fourth pillar of unity is to just continue to raise the social issues because there's a lot a lot of people that, that think, and I used to be one of them, that thought the world is a negative place. There's a lot of negativity in the world, but I'll tell you this, there's more positivity in the world that outweighs that negativity, and that's what Queen City Unity is all about. Absolutely, and they say that negative energy kind of permeates in, in a negative way, mm -hmm. but I think what people fail to realize is that positive energy also Absolutely. permeates in a positive Absolutely. way. Absolutely. And so, um, what, just, just a quick question about the venue that, that, we, that we selected today. So why know the blue? Well, I'll tell you, number one, Noda Brewing has been phenomenal. You know, we, we approached them with the idea, and we had approached a few others, but Noda was the first one that said, you know what, we believe in your vision. The second part is, we're here in North Davidson, right? It's called Noda now, but it's North Davidson. And this area used to be very, very different, um, if, if you think about years back, right? Yeah. Um, so we figured it's right in the heart of the city, number one. Number two, you know, it's it's... Most people would venture to say that there's only one particular bucket of people that come to breweries. Well, I challenge that because I'm here with my brother Jason, I'm here with my brother Whitney, and I'm a Latino male, and we're out here. And you know what? We've all come together. We've met so many amazing people out here. So Noda has been spectacular. They made a beer for us. They're donating a dollar to, uh, to for every beer sold to Queen City Unity. And we couldn't think of a better place to do it because they have been absolutely spectacular. Okay. So I have another question for you. So your vision is, is wonderful, phenomenal. I'm glad. I appreciate what you're doing. But there are a lot of people, a lot of naysayers that will say that what you're trying to do is impossible. Yep. It won't happen. And you have people that just don't want to be a part of the change that you guys are, that you guys are trying to create. So if you could say anything to those people to maybe try to entice them to think differently, what would it be? You know, I'll just say one thing. Open up your mind, brother. Open up your mind, sister. You know, you know what? Whether you whether you think one way or another, I'll tell you what, there's nothing more beautiful than standing hand in hand and looking, no matter where you're at, and looking at people and saying, that's just another human being. Now, unfortunately, a lot of the racist, uh, race, racist activity that we see and the stereotypes are generational. It's a generational issue. But it's incumbent upon us as a society and, and, and our particular generation to stand up and say we break the chains, we break the generational you know, per perspective that, that has been just handed down to us and, and just make an actual difference. And, and I think that's what I'd say to them. Is, you know what? Open up your mind. Amen, or we bro. give you a one month challenge. I guarantee you if you come spend one month and do donating about five hours a week of your time to our cause, I guarantee you, if you think that way negatively about what we're trying to do, that will change your mind. And, and we will show you that it's possible. And I'll tell you one more thing. You know what? Just try it out. Small doses, right? So you, if, if there's anybody out there that's just surrounded by the same group of people and they're not open-minded to it, do one thing. Reach out to somebody that's different talk to them, get to know them, and I guarantee you that you're going to see, you know what, we got more in common than we do that's different 
And I think unfortunately that's some of the things that we focus on these days is, oh, well that makes us different. Well this makes us different. What about the things that make us similar? I guarantee you there's more things that make you similar. I am mm -hmm. similar to these gentlemen right here exactly. that are standing here exactly. with me, even though our exactly. background exactly. And, our, and our social economic status is or has been different. But we have more in common than we have different. And we gather around those commonalities and we come together. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, hey, a person once told me too, uh, you know, if everybody was the same, the world would be a boring place. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time, but let me ask you a question. If, if we want to keep in touch and if the people want to follow you, what, what is your social uh, media information? Yeah, just follow us at uh, Queen City Unity uh, on Facebook, yeah. Instagram. Follow Instagram, it's Queen City Unity. It's all Queen City Unity right across the board, and you can check us out on queencityunity.org as well. Yeah, okay, absolutely. Yeah. Jason, thank, thank you. you. Oh, yeah, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Man. Thank you. Yeah, and thank you. I didn't get your name. I'm Corey, man. Corey, yeah. thank you. You know what? Catch us in the community, man. That's where you can catch us at. Catch us in the community. We're making changes, man. We're going to make big changes throughout Charlotte, man. We're going to unite Charlotte. That's the big. That's our biggest objective. We're going to ignite the, the city of Charlotte, man, and bring people together of all races, socioeconomic status, or disabilities, or whatever. We're going, we, we're going to unite the city of Charlotte. Just know that, okay? Absolutely. Thank you so much. Remember, Sean Green for Voice TV. What's up?